Today I'm going to show you how to make a wafer paper lace. You can use this technique to make all kinds of decorations for your cake. Let's get started. All you need is wafer paper and water. This is the type of wafer paper I use. First, tear the wafer paper into small pieces and place them in a blender or bowl. Pour in the water, just enough to cover the wafer paper pieces. It will only take a few minutes for them to get softened. Now I will use a blender to blend the mixture. This is what it will look like, kind of like a thin glue paste. Scoop a spoonful of wafer paper paste into a heated non-stick pan. Use a spatula and start brushing the paste back and forth very lightly until they form a thin sheet of lace on the pan. If you put more water initially to soak the wafer paper while your paste is more watery now, it will just take a little longer at this stage for the moisture to evaporate. Likewise, if your paste is thick, this cooking process will be quicker. Let it cook until it dries out. When it dries, you can see that it will start peeling off from the pan. It will take a few minutes. Now we can remove it from the pan and place it on the baking sheet to dry completely. This is just in case there are some spots in there that are still a little wet. Sometimes it will be much easier to attach this to a cake if it has a toothpick in it. So now I'm going to show you how to insert the toothpick in the lace. When it's still a little wet, put a toothpick on there. Once this is completely dry, the toothpick will stick to it very firmly. Here's another way. Remove the lace from the pan before it completely dries out. Squeeze the lace and attach the toothpick in the middle. Press it lightly to make sure the toothpick is attached, then let it dry completely. You can also add color to the paste to make trees or other decorations. With two sheets of wafer paper, I made a total of 12 laces. Now I will show you how to attach a toothpick to the lace after they are dried. Having a toothpick in there will make it easier to put it on a cake like a cake topper. I have some wafer paper glue here, which is the same mixture I used to make the lace. Tear the lace into different sizes. Brush the glue onto a corner of the lace. end of a toothpick onto where the glue is and while holding it in place add another piece of the lace on there. You can just stop right here or add another piece. Press it a few times and then lay it down to dry. It will take a few hours to dry completely. This is what it looks like once it's completely dry. These are the ones that attach the toothpick while cooking. As you can see, it is very secure once it's completely dry. Wafer paper lace is very versatile. You can use these to make trees, malls, smoke, 
or just use them as fillers to create a beautiful background. Thanks for watching.